It's Wednesday, December 27th, and I'm wondering about all the negative reaction to the Cowboys' loss in Miami. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. Now, you listening may not be in charge of purchasing seasonings for your home, but you do know what tastes good, really good. Goodness Steak Seasoning is terrific. No sugar, no MSG, no gluten, great flavor. Get Goodness Steak Seasoning by going to the website bringthetasty.com. Oh, hail. No, I'm not cursing. That's the name of a terrific Dallas roofing company in business more than a decade. They handle residential or commercial properties. And those weird insurance forms that seem to be written in a foreign language? Oh, hail can simplify those for you also. So the next time something happens to your roof, just say, Oh, hail. O H E A A I L. Oh, hail.com. To see the reaction after the Cowboys' 22-20 loss in Miami, you'd think the sky is falling in Dallas. It isn't. It isn't. This is still a good team. Now, yes, you have a right to wonder about all those road losses, but the ones at Philadelphia and Miami were coin toss games. Either team could have won them. But... The complaints from a lot of different places came pouring in. Micah Parsons said he shouldn't have been called for that roughing the passer penalty where he blew in from Tua's left side and drilled him in the back just after he'd thrown the ball. And even Dean Blandino on TV, the referee in the booth or whatever they call him, said he didn't think that Parsons should be called. Well, Parsons did hit Tua in the back hard, and the ball had been released and the throwing motion completed. And thanks to Michael Galkin in the Dallas Morning News, who looked up the NFL rule book, it states, when in doubt about a roughness call or potentially dangerous tactic against the passer, the referee should always call roughing the passer. Didn't you think that looked pretty dangerous when Parsons sitting him from behind? And then there are all the complaints about the defense I see. Wait a minute. Miami only scored 22 points. Miami only scored one touchdown. Miami was held nine and a half points under their season scoring average. And, you know, the Cowboys forced five field goals in the game. And remember, they held Miami at the five-yard line when the Dolphins went for it on fourth and five. Miami can run the ball. They're fourth in the league rushing coming into that game. But the defense also held them to 91 yards rushing. Could the defense have held Miami to 19? Yeah, possibly. Could it have held them to 16? Maybe. But just how low do you have to go to not get blame in this game? And C.D. Lamb complained about not getting targeted in the second and third quarters of the game. Lamb still had 118 yards receiving in the game, but now, let me ask about his complaint. Is that aimed at the head coach, the play caller? Or is it aimed at his own quarterback? Did Mike McCarthy actually never call C.D. Lamb's number in the second and third quarters? Or 
was Lamb's number called a time or two or three, and yet that, for reasons, didn't go to him. Let's look at those second and third quarters and the Dallas possessions. They got only three points total in the second and third quarters. Well, in the first of the four possessions, Dak was flushed out and ran twice and had a pass batted down and was sacked. Were either of those last plays aimed at Lamb? In the next possession, at first and 15 because of a penalty, they ran twice and then Dak was sacked. Who was that pass going to be intended for? And in the third possession, Man, Miami put the heat on Dak, and he barely got the ball away. In fact, throwing it away. And then on the fourth possession, because of an illegal shift by C.D. Lamb, Dallas had a play canceled that would have given them a first and 10 inside the Miami 15-yard line. Uh, I know Lamb complains. Wide receivers, star wide receivers, they want the ball. One can understand that. But there are situations and games that may explain why he didn't get the ball better. But what good does that complaining do? Isn't that something you should review at a team meeting? In a film room? Yes, One can understand the frustration of the Cowboys. They feel a season to some degree slipping away because right now Philadelphia has control of its own destiny and the Cowboys would then be a road team in the playoffs, a wild card team that would at this point have to go to Tampa and win. And if they won there on the road, they'd likely have to go to San Francisco and win. And if they won there on the road, they'd probably go to Detroit or Philly and have to win there. And then stay on the road for the Super Bowl. That's not an easy chore. One can understand their frustration. There's no question that game yesterday eats the Cowboys. And it eats them in their locker room. And it eats the Cowboys fan nation. But... Hey, that game could have gone either way. I had one fan email me and suggested Dan Quinn should be fired. What? Another ripped Coach McCarthy for his play calling. Hey, this is a good team. They have weapons. They have a good pass rush. Other than Diggs, the cornerback, being out for the year, they're in good health. The sky is not falling. Oh, yeah, there are a couple of things to be concerned about. On the road, in their five road losses, they're 10-5 and five on the season. In their five road losses, Dallas has scored offensively 16, then 10, then 23, then 14, then 20. In those five losses, a meager 16.3 points per game. Yes, that is not going to get it done if you're going on the road in the playoffs. And in those road losses to those four winning teams, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Buffalo, and Miami, the Cowboys turned the ball over seven times. And the Cowboys' defense took it away only one time. Hey, what if Hunter Lupke doesn't fumble at the one-yard line in the first quarter when the Cowboys were going in for an opening drive touchdown? And what if Damone Clark does not grab the face mask on the Dolphins' last drive helping them advance 15 yards into what was a game-winning field goal territory. And what if CeeDee Lamb doesn't have that illegal shift? And even what if Dolphins kicker Jason Sanders 
doesn't have the game of his lifetime. Three field goals from beyond 50 yards. In the NFL, loads of games come down to ifs. Dallas is what it is. The playoffs begin in three weeks. And if Dallas can find a way to win on the road, then the mood in the locker room and amongst Cowboy Nation's fans will change dramatically. But as for right now, the Cowboys are like an old clunker car. It still runs good. It gets up to about 20 or 25 miles an hour. It's dependable in its own neighborhood, but you can't take it on the road. Today's episode has been brought to you by Fluent Financial, by O'Hell Roofing, and by Goodness Steak Seasoning. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Just Wondering. If you enjoyed it, please hit follow. Then each episode every weekday will be delivered straight to you. And if we might ask one more favor, please share it with friends. I'm Norm Hitzkus, and every day I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitzkus, and I'm just wondering too. 